We've got uh, John Ray, JDOE.com, and I've got John Harris of GSK, but you're also the chair of the Corporate IT Forum in the UK, correct? That's correct, yeah. Cloud Computing Forum, and you're about to go on and talk about uh, the future of software uh, in front of these guys, right? I am, yeah. The, um, well, if there is a future for software, right. well, will is there still be software? Yeah, is there? Uh, yeah. It's going to be an interesting discussion, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you going to say? Um, Actually, I mean, I think um, software will always be there. Of course, we're going to use software, we're going to use computing, we'll need applications to, uh, to, to get value from, from computing. But will we buy software is the question, or will we actually get to a point where um, the software is um, as irrelevant to the end user as the, um, as the computers in the data center? Um, and I think we're not far away from that point. You know, I think if you look at cloud, um, when someone uses Gmail, you know, my wife at home logs onto Gmail. Mm -hmm. I don't think it even occurs to her she's using a piece of software. She is just using Gmail. That's how you use it. Right. And I think there are more and more cloud services that are just provisioned for people to, to, to carry out a fairly straightforward task. So I think that's one part of it. The way that we um, receive software is changing. I think the other thing that's huge is um, the way that software actually is developed and grows. And I think... Um, you know, cloud is a game changer. Cloud makes things much more ubiquitous, available to all. Um, it enables crowdsourcing, so you can take something like Google Maps and look what the developer community have done with that around the world. Um, but I think there's another reality, which is it may change and take away the traditional um, high return business model that some of the big software players have had. So, you know, I, I don't think it happens overnight, but cloud to me is it's a game changer. I'm not excited by cloud because I can get a server quickly or because I pay as I go and don't buy a license anymore, because I can't customize and it gives me a single um, way of working. But I'm actually excited because cloud is changing everything and it has a profound disruptive influence on the IT industry as we know it. So I don't know the future of the software industry, mm. but I'll bet you a couple of beers that in five years time, it will be very different to the way that it is today. You know enough to be interesting in a few minutes in front of a group of people here, so that's something. Well, that so you talked, about be, you talked about being disruptive. Um, if I'm a security-minded IT manager, I might not be totally excited about the idea of disruption. So what are your users in your forum telling you about cloud? Is, is, it, is it all a good thing, or is there some level of disruption that is, is a bit unnerving as well? Yeah, sure. I mean, look, all disruption is unnerving. It's change. And... Um, you know, change brings a whole new set of parameters and new set of things to think about. But you know what? The security professionals we have in the IT forum, and I think in corporates generally, are very, very sharp folks. They get it. They understand where risks are. They're sometimes um, nervous and they get a bit edgy when new risks come along. But actually, as they put their attention to it and start doing the thinking, usually they do a great job of mitigating those risks. Um, the way I tend to look at it from a cloud perspective, you have to think very carefully about what you're doing. And there are some things that we can manage in the cloud and we're going to get value from it. It's a smart way to work. And there are some things that, frankly, you want to keep absolutely locked away. Now, in the past, we didn't always distinguish because data center was locked away, therefore whatever secure there is secure. But I think we have to get better at tiering and thinking about what is um, really the crown jewels and what is um, uh, less important. Or even in some cases, there's things that should be open. You know, there's data that should be shared so that the developer community can do more with it.